Good morning. What a great day to have this convocation, isn't it? For those of you who have never been in Boston or in Cambridge, every day feels like this. <laughs> My name is Rafael Reif, I'm MIT's president, and I'm delighted to welcome you all, parents and students of the class of 2016, to welcome you all to MIT. I feel a very special connection with this class since this is my freshman year too. However, I've been a member of the MIT's course six faculty, that is electrical engineering and computer science, since before many of you were born. I've had the benefit of 32 years of orientation. So, as you begin your time at MIT, I want to plant a few thoughts in your mind about the community that you now join. I will start with a small piece of my own story, not because it is unusual, but because it is so common at MIT. When I first arrived here, I knew almost nobody. I had studied for a few years at another US university, but my home was a long way away in Venezuela. I felt excited to join this amazing place, but I had plenty of worries. Would my work be good enough? Would my English be good enough? Would I fit in? And what would I do when it started to snow? <laughs> do any of that sound familiar? But very soon, I came to feel that MIT was my home and that this community was like an extended family. I hope that you will soon come to have this feeling too. As far as we are concerned, I know that we are lucky to have you. For earning a place in the class of 2016, you deserve our sincere congratulations. You belong to an extremely selective group. As you know, students who apply to MIT are a very special, self-selected group. Many of those who apply to MIT are more than capable of doing a good job learning MIT material. Yet this year, we only had the capacity to admit less than 9% of those who applied. Less than 9%. You are all members of this incredibly strong and talented group of students. I also know that as talented as you are, you must have had several other options for where to attend college. I want to tell each of you today, you made an extremely smart choice. <laughs> the world needs students with an MIT education, one that combines the rigor of the discipline of your choice with a broad understanding of the society that you will go on to be part of and serve. In coming to MIT, you're joining a community that is not satisfied with just learning what is needed to get a degree, but one that pursues learning in order to make a big difference and a positive impact in the world. You're joining a community that is meritocratic and principled, and that always chooses to take the high road. We challenge one another to do our best, to understand our strengths, and to recognize and overcome our weaknesses. I also would like to tell you today, have confidence in yourself. We admitted you to MIT because you have what it takes to succeed at MIT. Apply yourself and take advantage of the extremely rich environment MIT offers you, and you will succeed. Before I introduce our three speakers this morning, 
I'd like to say a few words for the parents and family members in the audience. Leaving your child at college for the first time can bring on a mix of emotions, pride and excitement, often a little sadness. I know those emotions very well from sending our own children to college. So I want to offer some reassurance as your son or daughter joins the family of MIT. We have an amazing and caring faculty and staff and we will do everything we can to see that your children flourish here. We will demand a great deal of them from them, for sure. In four years, every student here will make a tremendous leap forward in technical skills and personal growth. That intense growth experience isn't always easy, but it'll be transformational and we pay a great deal of attention to helping every member of our MIT family find their way.